Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix an iPhone stuck in SOS mode. The emergency SOS feature on your iPhone is helpful to let you call for help or text to emergency services when you have no service. If your iPhone keeps saying SOS only at the top status bar even when you're in a place with good mobile network coverage, unfortunately you're stuck in the emergency SOS mode. In this situation, you have no cellular connection or get access to the internet, but only to make emergency calls. So, why is your iPhone stuck in SOS mode? And how to get out of the SOS mode and get back to regular network service? Now, keep watching and you'll get the answers. Why is your iPhone stuck in emergency SOS mode? Normally, if you visit a place with interrupted or no service coverage, you'll see an SOS icon appearing in the status bar of your iPhone as it loses service. If you find an iPhone stuck in emergency SOS mode even when you're in an area with good cell phone coverage, here are a few possible causes. 1. You mistakenly triggered the emergency SOS mode via button presses. 2. Your phone network settings go wrong. 3. There is a software glitch on your iPhone. 4. There is something wrong with your phone carrier. 5. It has an issue related to the SIM card. Thankfully, you can get your device booting and running again on your own. So here's how to get your iPhone out of stuck SOS mode and get regular service back. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Refresh airplane mode and cellular network. When you see SOS or SOS only in the status bar, there might be a problem with cellular network. It fails to search the service and as a result, your iPhone is stuck in SOS mode. Fixing this issue is simple. 1. Check the place you're located is within cellular network coverage. 2. Swipe up to open the control center and turn off cellular network for a while and then turn it back on. You can also go to settings app, tap cellular, toggle off cellular data option and then toggle it on. 3. Swipe up to open the control center and switch on airplane mode, then switch it off again. Alright, your iPhone should have service now. If your iPhone is still stuck in emergency SOS mode, move to the next step. Try to restart your iPhone. If it's a software glitch causing the problem, doing a restart can help get your iPhone out of stuck SOS mode. The steps vary on different iPhone models and we list all of them here. If you're using an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. After your iPhone reboots, Check if the SOS or SOS only icon goes away and the internet service signal shows normally. See if there is something wrong with your carrier. Maybe the fault is not you but the cell phone carrier. Go and find the your phone's manufacturer or carrier contact info and ask them for help. Here are a few possible problems that may lead to iPhone getting stuck in emergency SOS mode. 1. The cell phone carrier has an outage in your area. 2. They block or bar your phone number so that you can't receive cellular services. Three. The SIM card isn't activated. Update iPhone to its latest iOS version. Running an old iOS version will also cause your iPhone to get stuck on SOS mode and won't get the network service. If you suspect this is the reason, or you see the SOS only icon after updating, try updating your iPhone to fix the problems. Open the settings app, tap on general, choose software update. Your iPhone will start checking if there's an update available. If there is, it'll prompt you to download and install an update to upgrade the iOS system. Just press the download and install option. Finish the on-screen instructions to trigger the update process to start. Once the update process is done, see if your iPhone turns on showing normal cellular network signals. Install a carrier settings update if any. One another possible factor is the outdated carrier settings. Thankfully, the iPhone makes it easy to do an update if it's available. Just open the settings app, tap general. Tap about and see if there is an option to update your carrier settings. If there is no alert, then it means it's the latest. Move to the next solution to get out of stuck SOS mode on iPhone. 
Inspect the SIM card. The SIM card might be misplaced or damaged somehow and it makes your iPhone keep saying SOS only instead of the cellular network signals. To inspect the SIM card, turn off your iPhone first. Then, use a SIM card removal tool or a straightened paper clip into the small pinhole next to the SIM card tray to pull it out. Take out the SIM card and check if there is any visible damage on its surface. If it's in good condition, put it back in the tray and turn on your iPhone. Now, see if the stuck SOS mode issue on iPhone is fixed. Turn on data roaming if you're traveling internationally. Are you traveling abroad when your iPhone says SOS only in the top status bar? If so, the data roaming option might be on the disabled status, which causes the issue. The iPhone stuck on SOS fix here is just to go to the settings app, tap cellular. Tap cellular data options and make sure the data roaming is on. Now, you should see the SOS icon disappear from the status bar. Reset the network settings. Misconfigured network settings can also render SOS mode stuck error on an iPhone. Resetting the network settings helps eliminate this culprit. Be noted that after resetting the network settings, the Wi-Fi passwords, saved Bluetooth connections, VPN information, and network preferences all will be restored to their default factory values. Here are the steps. Open the Settings app. Find and tap General. Scroll all the way down and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap the Reset option. Now, select the option named Reset Network Settings. When asked, enter your passcode to confirm. The process may take a few seconds. Bring iPhone back to its factory settings. If all the steps above don't turn off the emergency SOS mode on your iPhone, the last method you can try to fix the software-related factors is to factory reset your phone. Make sure you back up all your data before you begin so you don't lose your settings, photos, and other crucial information during the reset. Here are the steps. Go to Settings. Tap on the General option. Scroll all the way down and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Erase all content and settings. When asked, enter your passcode. Read the warning carefully and tap Erase iPhone to trigger the erase process. The process may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once done, your iPhone will reboot and the Hello screen will appear. Follow the setup assistant to quickly set up your phone and use it again. Contact Apple support. If you still need help after factory resetting the device, call or visit the expert at Apple. The service fee will be free if your iPhone is still under warranty. And there you have it, folks. Hope the solutions in this video help get iPhone out of stuck emergency SOS mode. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.